Hey everyone, Deb here. Um, this is a 12 o'clock message while we're all hanging out at home, while, while the coronavirus thing is going on in all of our lives. Um, I don't know about you, but I kind of like the world slowing down a bit, taking time to do the things that are on your to-do list that you just never seem to get to. Um, like last week, Bob and I cut down this big tree in our backyard, stacked all the firewood, got all the branches thrown over the hill, um, cleaning closets, defrosting a freezer in our basement. Um, that was a big job we got done. Organizing, pitching papers, going through clothes, finally getting rid of things that have been hanging there for a couple years that we think we might wear. Um, packing those up in bags to go um, to some needy people. Um, playing card games, doing puzzles, um, making phone calls to friends and relatives, the ones that are, you always think of calling, but instead you just send them a quick text. I actually sat down, I made a list of about 10 or 12 people, sat down, went through that list, actually sat and called these people, and we had a nice long conversation just catching up on things. I knew they were home because they were not at work, I was home, so it worked out well. It was a nice, nice, uh, Thing to do to call to catch up with people. Um, some of the downs, down things of happening. Does that make sense? Down things? No. What's the word I'm looking for? Some of the negative things, I guess, are we are not able to see our grandchildren. Um, we do FaceTime with them, which is nice. Last night, we did break our confinement and went over to our son's house. He had a cookout in the backyard. We tried to stay our six feet apart from the grandkids. They explain, they understand that um, we just can't be around each other right now. So they were fine with that. Um, I miss going to church every week, of course. I miss the two small groups that we're involved in. Um, we do keep in touch with text and phone calls with all those folks. Um, watching pa Pastor Derek's messages online Sunday morning is a new thing. It's an exciting thing. I actually had four friends who do not go to church at all, anywhere, tune in last Sunday. They texted that they really liked the message and they'll be tuning in again this Sunday. So that's pretty exciting. As well as these 12 o'clock um, noon messages are pretty cool. A good way to keep in touch. I seen something online the other day on social media. Let me read it to you. Satan tries to whisper in our ear, I will call, call let me try it again. I will cause anxiety, fear, and panic. I will shut down schools, places of worship, and sport events. I will cause economic turmoil. But Jesus says, I will bring together neighbors, restore the family unit. I will bring back dinner to the kitchen table. I will help people slow down their lives and appreciate what really matters. I will teach my children to trust me and not money and material resources. I will teach my children to rely on me and not the world. I'd like to leave you with the Bible verse today. It comes from Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And with all that being said, as you can tell, I'm not a professional speaker like some of the ones you've been hearing at 12 noon, but this is me. This is my heart. This is my message to you. And I pray you have a blessed day. Um, I pray you keep healthy, keep busy, call a friend, and know that your church family here at Unity Community Church is here for you if you should need us. Okay? Y'all have a great day. And... Um, See you when you see us, or we'll see you when, I'll see you when we see each other. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if, if I, Daniel, will edit this or just let it go as it is, but it is what it is, as they say. See ya.